Today's video is going to be all about reflection, how I set up our portfolios, how I work with my kids to get them, to encourage them to reflect on the year that's been, what we've loved most about our year and, and kind of starting the process of closing off our year. I wanted to share with you today the positive outcomes that come from planning, from, from capturing spontaneous learning moments and sharing them with our kids because that is what really brings us the most joy. That's what brings me and us as a homeschool the most joy and I wanted to share that with you today. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany and this is Hinterlife Homeschool. My channel is all about homeschooling, motherhood and organization. So if you like those kinds of things, I invite you to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss the next video. Um, we are doing a reflection day. It is rainy and a bit yucky outside. There's some storms that are predicted. So we're gonna stay indoors today. And we thought it was the best opportunity even though we haven't officially finished the year, um, we are just liking the idea. We just feel called to kind of start cleaning out some of our work from the, um, from the year that we've done. And we're going to put together our little portfolio for the year of the work that we are most proud of. I have some reflection printables that I've created um, for Freely Homeschool Planner app. And I thought I'd try them out with the kids and just test them and make sure that they were all, you know, really good um, for us to start giving them away. Reflecting on your, you know, the past and things that we've done over the, the last year is actually quite challenging for kids, particularly my kids. So it's something that I've really been purposeful um, learning about, understanding, working with our therapists as well in kind of getting my head around how to kind of model that behavior. Um, so that my kids can learn how to do that themselves as well. Because through reflection, we have real growth. And that's kind of my point with this video is that, you know, we're really starting some fantastic traditions that we can do year after year that are incredibly healthy and helpful to create well-rounded adults. The uh, sort of interview questions, they're not hard questions, they're just questions about what you're interested in or how you feel about what you've loved doing this year, all that sort of stuff, how you feel about the year and things like that. Um, so this is gonna go in our folder and then um, I'm gonna lay out all the work that we did this year. Maybe not everything, because we did so much, but you know, the main stuff. And you can pick and choose what you wanna keep in your folder. And then I thought, what's left over? We can choose to, to do a couple of different things. We could um, send some to family. Mm, I like your eggs. Oh, mm. thank you. Um, we can send some to family as mm -hmm. little, like this is what we did this year with a little Christmas card. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we could give some, if it's like artwork or something, we could give it to a friend. Oh, yeah. So there's heaps of things that we could do. Or I was even thinking some of it, if it's artwork or, you know, we really like it, we could use it as wrapping paper. Wrapping paper? If it's a small gift or something like that, that we've got to send to Nina and Poppy, we could use it as wrapping paper. Mm. So there's heaps of ideas that we can do with the leftover stuff, um, the leftover work that we don't want to hold on to. But this is like our folder for us to keep. And we're going to do each one. We're going to do one of these every year. So then we're keeping some stuff and then the rest of the stuff we, we're finding other homes for it. Mm. Okay, mm. cool. So the first question is your name. Well, Do you know your name? name? I don't really, I <laughs> what's my name? So I was thinking you could write it, uh, you could do cursive, you could write it however you want, but show your personality and how you write it. Okay. Okay? Well, so my name If Chartres. you've got a big personality, maybe you might want to write it. My name's Bella. <laughs> the, um, okay, so you write it along here. You write it along here. Okay. 
So describe this year in one word. Do you want to know what I've, I've chosen? What? Yeah. Growth. Growth, as in you guys grew so much physically and emotionally, mentally, you learned lots. I think, <laughs> one word I think to describe this year would be odd because it's been locked down, not locked down, not locked down. Odd. That is a perfectly acceptable word. Um, I That's, thought that was me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> I thought we had a wonderful year, yeah. but that's okay. It's whatever you truly think, though. Okay. I want you to first, before you enter that and I'll like fill that in, I want you to think about all the things that we did this year. We did swimming with the sharks. We went oh. to underwater world. That's we got new awesome. bikes. We learned to ride without our. <laughs> Safety wheels on. We, you tried out dirt bike riding for the first time. Yeah. Well, I'm good. You've tried new foods for the first time. You've tried new foods. We've gone to restaurants. We've gone to tacos. We've do, done think, movies. We. What else have we done? What other adventures have we done that I'm forgetting? Here's, here's the thing. Um, you're only counting in the good stuff, not both. Oh no, there's definitely things that have happened that have been sad. We've lost people that we love. We have had storms come through. We've lost a chicken. We um, had sad things happen. That's we we've have, lost toys. We, we have right. gone to Nana and Poppy and um, played on the beach. And Exactly. Swam in the deep water. Swam in the deep water. That's I've right. water down and got my throat and up my nose and make me. Okay, there's been lots. A lot can happen in a year. We this is really the moment that um, having a digital planner comes to life and allows uh, going through our memories of our lessons and the excursions and the adventures and having it all become three dimensional with being able to look through all of our observation notes, all of the photographs that I've, um, I've attached to the days and knowing exactly when and how and why it all happened and uh, going through all that running a simple report with the click of a button and being able to really experience that while we're going through all of the physical elements of those days as well um, makes everything so much more satisfying and so much more um, just a, a different feeling of accomplishment of the year and the kids really really respond to this kind of uh, level of reflection where it's touch and feel and see and read about it and um, I think that this is truly one of the biggest reasons why I love having um, Freely in our homeschool. And there's Brownie Bear with a baby. You remember taking your baby? I just got that shirt like two months ago. No. So like this is my basket where I keep in my sideboard. So if you haven't seen already, I have a whole organization um, video dedicated to paper clutter and how I handle all of the, the loose bits and pieces that we have, projects and things like that. Um, but essentially this basket is where all of those things go when our file system is getting full or we don't wanna be carrying around all this extra paper um, that is finished. Uh, but I I don't know what to do with it until the end of the year because it could be a sample or it could be needed or the kids just want to hold on to it until they know what they want to do with it so it goes into this basket and this basket is generally um, I place everything on top of each other so it's usually date um, ordered as well and it just really helps at the end of the year to bring out the basket and lay it all over the table and the kids can go through it and really relive all of their achievements this year so beautiful. And I'm not the same anymore. And look, remember when you did that? Yeah. I'm gonna go look at that. Yeah, sure. And this one right there. So many great things. Yeah, I doubt that. And Isaac, I've like, already pulled out a couple of your wonderful things. Remember when you did uh, this? Like, I don't want to be a. I don't or want to be a beatboxer. <laughs> don't you? See, things change, but it's nice to write down. Look at that. Remember that? It's very special. Oh, and your eyes. I think I did so well. Oh.
Amazing. So let's <laughs> lay it all out. So we I want to do that stuff again. Yeah, then. for sure. I've got a whole heap of the lessons in freely for us to do whenever you want. I think we spent a good couple of hours looking through all the work and now the kids are actually having a snack and <laughs> they were a little bit worn out but they uh, were they managed to create some piles of uh, work that they wanted to display in their folder um, as a tribute to our year uh, so I'm just starting to put that together and then we'll look through it uh, as a final run through and go through our basket again maybe a little bit later um, more towards the actual end of the year uh, once we've finished off all our other projects as well we'll add those in too as we go These printables worked out so beautifully and complemented the whole process of our reflection on the year and going through and creating this binder as a tribute to our year. Um, I'm so pleased with them, so I'm definitely going to be um, adding the link below in the description box for um, anyone else to uh, use them as well in your home school. Uh, they're completely free and um, made with love. kids get older I definitely envisage um, having two folders for their work but for now we predominantly homeschool as a group together um, so I have set up the binder in this way that it shows uh, their individual favorite uh, work that they've done um, along with their little uh, end of year reflection notes um, separately and then I've created another section for uh, work towards the back there um, that they have completed as a group. One of my favourite things about doing these binders, uh, these end of year reflections, is including a letter to my kids, um, just talking about my own views of, of what I've seen um, in their growth and what they've done this year, what we've done as a family and our, my favourite times uh, with them as well. And um, they really enjoy reading those kinds of things. It's a wonderful keepsake and I think it's something that I imagine they might want to hold on to um, and I think that that is something really special. So I try to include that in um, these folders as well. If you would like these beautiful uh, printables that I have created um, in inspiration of my children and the sorts of things that we discuss and talk about at the end of the year, um, please head over to um, Freely Homeschool Planner app. I will leave a link in the description box below as well. So you can go down there and just click the link and it should be there. Um, it is completely free. It's just something that I wanted to share with everybody and I have a platform to do so. So it's really special. Um, share it with your friends make sure you tag it if you if you take a photo or on instagram and share it with people tag me tag freely um support my business as well that would mean the absolute world um to me to see it in homes of other homeschoolers and people kind of appreciating it or enjoying it or getting something from it. Um, let me know if you find that it's helpful for guiding some sort of reflection in your homeschool. I hope it does. 
I think the most rewarding part of this uh, process of reflection with my kids is really just taking the time to watch them think through their answers to the questions and I'm really just connecting with with what they are most proud of um, throughout the year and and really registering that they have overcome a lot this year I think our kids really need that um, above all else is the acknowledgement that these years are hard, have been hard for adults, let alone kids. Um, they are, I know people say kids are resilient, but, and, and they are, they absolutely are. And I totally agree with that, but that doesn't mean it's okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean it's okay that they have had to deal with certain things that they've had to deal with. These are strange times. And um, I, I feel like, especially, this last two years, we have definitely needed to work on acknowledging that things have been harder than usual and that they're doing a wonderful job with dealing with it. And even if we're not thriving, it's still, it's still an achievement. <laughs> it's still getting through this year, um, doing, doing bits and pieces of work or doing projects or going somewhere or accomplishing some form of travel or any of those things are so much harder now. And just doing those is enough. And, and that is a wonderful thing to accomplish. So that's my thoughts on reflection, especially lately. Um, and it ha I believe it's, it's something that's really important for our kids to, to have working, especially around this time of year where we're, you know, looking forward to the future and we're also, you know, creating wish lists and all of those kinds of things. I always find that if we spend some time reflecting before we start making wish lists and, you know, purchasing things for people and thinking about things, what really matters helps with, you know, what they might ask for for the future for Christmas presents or you know things like that celebrations and family time and understanding how like really registering that that's important to them and it's not just something that they have to do or have to endure or anything like that family time is important to them too and it is a choice that they're making as well Anyway, I know that's a little bit, maybe that's a bit too serious for this video, but um, it's what's been on my heart lately and I just love to, to share those kinds of thoughts and um, reflections with everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it. It really helps my channel. It also makes me understand what you guys, what sort of information you're after, what sort of videos I should make for the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.